Hello, viewers, and welcome to my playthrough of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. The first two videos were basically the introduction to the game, and now the game is really getting started. And of course, what better way to start off than with a puzzle? Puzzle number five, Digital Digits. Imagine a digital clock. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day? Obviously, we're going to have 333 as one of the times, also 111. Uh, we're also going to have 222, 333, 444, and 555. Now don't forget, at 10 o'clock you're going to have three zeros in a row. And let me see, 1110, 1110, 1111, 1112, 1113, 1114, 1115, 1116, you want to double that because a clock repeats itself twice a day, which gives the answer of 34. I think I've got it! I did it! Yes! Okay, that's the uh, chart of all the various times. The way to get to the manor is heading to the right. Professor, look at the man standing in the street. He's blocking the path. Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. So let's talk to this man. Basically, the puzzle is that we have eight weights that look exactly the same, but one of them is lighter than all the others. You can just guess in order to figure out the solution, but the solution changes each time. What you want to do is put three weights on each scale. Okay, so it looks like the uh, lighter weight is over here. That is, it's either number 4, 5, or 6. Let's test out 4 and 6. Ah! Looks like it's number 6, alright. Look, here's my answer. Every puzzle has an answer. You want to walk through the gate in order to reach Reinhold Manor. Or not Reinhold Manor. We reach this guy, Ramon. But of course, he has a puzzle for you before he'll let you across the river to Reinhold Manor. Puzzle number seven, Wolves and Chicks. 
Get the three wolves and the three chicks to the other side of the river. No more than two animals can ride the raft at a time. There has to be at least one animal on the raft at all times. And if there are more wolves than chicks on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks. The way to solve the puzzle is to start by getting the wolves on the right side of the screen. Okay, all three are on the right side of the screen. Now you start by moving over all the chicks. Okay, so I believe you move a wolf and a chick back to the left side. I like how this chick is like, oh no, oh no, don't leave me here with the wolves. Let's not do that. Let's bring a wolf back. And now let's just move the wolves to the uh, right side of the screen again. By solving that puzzle, Professor Layton proves his identity. I'm not quite sure how solving a puzzle proves that he's Professor Layton. I mean, he could be Martin Gardner in disguise, right? In any case, you can click on the boat, get yourself a hint coin, and there's another puzzle across the lake. There you go. Tap over there. And this is the first of what I like to call mean trick puzzles. Puzzle number eight, farm work. Alfred and Roland have been hired to sow flower seeds. They've been assigned a 10 acre plot of land split in half. We have all this mathematical information about how fast they can plant seeds and how fast they can sow them. And we have to figure out how much of the money should go to Roland. This is a trick puzzle because you can totally forget all the information about plowing and sowing seeds. The answer is $50. There's your information telling you why that's the uh, proper solution to the puzzle. And now let's head to the mansion. Um, uh, not mansion, manor. The Reinhold Manor. Alright, we just finished chapter one.